This video is going to be a demonstration of how a web client, our PC over here, the web client, is going to send a request for a web page through the TCP IP stack and it will pass through the router and eventually it will end up in the application layer of the web server. So the first part of this process is where the application layer of the web client sends a web request. So there'll be a get and basically it will say get index page or index.html and it will have a host. The further information you need for this is on your worksheet. So we've got our get and our host and that is passed down from the application layer on the web client through to the transport layer. Once it gets to the transport layer, it's in data format and it's too large, so it is separated into segments. These segments are going to be encapsulated and we're at the transport layer, so we're going to encapsulate them as a TCP protocol data unit and on the TCP PDU, we have to put in the sequence number and in this case there will be 1 of 2 and 2 of 2 and the sequence number, the source port so the source port comes from the web client and it knows its own port number the destination port is going to be the port number for the application that it's going to. So in this case it's going to a web server so it will be port 80. So the data is put inside the transport layer protocol data unit. Because we've got two pieces of this message we have to put them into two separate PDUs or envelopes and once again we have sequence number and source and destination port numbers. Now for both of these TCP packet uh, segments the source and destination are going to be the same source, the same destination which is the web server. Once those protocol data units have been prepared they're passed on down to the internet layer. The internet layer is where we add in IP addresses so once again the TCP segments are placed inside an internet packet. They're going to be placed in separate packets because we're still dealing with two pieces of information. The packet is going to be addressed with the source IP address and the destination IP address. So the source IP is the web client's IP address. The destination IP doesn't change throughout the life of the packet. So we're actually going to be putting on the IP address of the web server that we're sending it to. Once they've been encapsulated, it is sent down to the data link layer. And at this layer, we create frames. So there's further encapsulation to be done. We have the data link layer and each of the packets is put inside a frame. A data link layer PDU is called a frame. Once we've got those inside, we then put on the source MAC address and the destination MAC address. Each one is going to be addressed. The source MAC address is from the web, cli uh, web client's MAC address, which it knows. The destination MAC address is not going to be the web server's address. It's actually going to be the incoming interface from the router because once it leaves the data link layer, it will go to the physical layer. It will get um, changed into bits. The bits will travel across the physical media, arrive at the router through the incoming interface. So the destination MAC address is 
whatever is on that incoming interface on the router. Now once they've been sent off on across the wire, they arrive at the router. The router is the intermediate device and what it does is it takes up those bits, it sends it up to the data link layer and it takes the envelope away or de-encapsulates, sends those uh, frames up towards the internet layer where they're once again packets. The internet layer checks the IP addresses so it knows where to actually send the remainder and it will send it down through to the data link layer. Once again it will encapsulate into a frame so it's putting a new frame around the packet. It'll put the source and destination MAC address on that. Now this time the source MAC address is going to be the outgoing interface for that router and the destination MAC address will be the MAC address of the web server. So the previous MAC addresses are um, not relevant anymore and they become data link layer frames sent down to the physical layer of the router. The router will send them out across the physical media and they're received by the physical media of the server. The server sends them up to the data link layer where they are de-encapsulated. The data link layer sends them up to the internet layer and they're checking the IP addresses. De-encapsulation occurs again and the transport layer checks the sequence numbers. So it actually puts them into the correct order. So sequence one and sequence two, and then they put the message together. So the two segments we had will be joined and we'll actually have one message, hopefully in the correct order. And that will be forwarded up towards the application layer of the web server. So it's received at the application layer. The process then basically reverses the application layer from the web server, will fetch that um, index page or whatever else is requested, send it all the way back down with the encapsulation, de-encapsulation in reverse order.